Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, well we learned a little more about Microsoft Edge browser being uh, changed to the Chromium engine. Uh, they used to have their own engine created by uh, um, Microsoft and um, now we learned that uh, all of that is past and of course uh, I subscribe to the insider program there's an insider program for those that are on the uh, edge they want to test out the new edge browser when it eventually appears and if you sign up actually you'll not receive immediately uh, an email or anything you'll eventually you'll be part of uh, you know they'll you'll receive an email saying that now you can try out the new version of edge well what I think would be probably a good news and it's interesting because I like the the comments you guys have been uh, leaving and once again I just want to stress out that I love having comments please use good language if it has the F word or any thing that I deem not nice I am removing your comment and it's sad because sometimes some of the comments are actually not bad but they use bad language so I don't keep them so just make sure that you uh, you know use proper language to uh, express your feelings about edge uh, whether you like or the fact or not that it's being kind of changed and um, it's interesting, of course, all the comments I get, uh, anywhere from, you know, the um, people that use Edge and love it. Um, I actually use Edge and have no problems. It's interesting also, I noticed a lot of people having issues saying, well, you know, Edge doesn't load this or that, and I got zero problems with Edge. It loads everything. Uh, I saw a few comments, oh, it doesn't play YouTube videos. It does. Uh, it's not Edge that's a problem. If you got that, there's something else happening in your PC, I can tell you that. But um, one of the things that uh, is going to make everybody happy is the use of Chrome extensions. A lot of people that use Chrome also use it because of the huge number of extensions that are available for Google Chrome browser. We'll now learn that uh, Edge will be compatible with the Chrome extensions. Which is interesting because that means you're having or you're actually putting online a browser that does pretty much what um, Chrome does. And it's curious to see the direction they're going with this. Um, I don't know. Uh, sometimes I look at it and I'm like, well, why don't you just, you know, forget about Edge and... and tell everybody to use Chrome or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird because with the fact that Edge will be compatible like that means what, what's, you know, why would people use Edge instead of going to Chrome? I mean, uh, that, that, that's kind of weird. Um, the design of the new Edge browser, I don't know exactly if it's going to change. Um, I suspect that maybe uh, the design itself will stay pretty much the same except that underneath the Chromium engine will be there, which will be interesting um, on that aspect uh, for uh, Microsoft Edge. And a lot of comments, and I, I do agree with a lot of them, um, even though Chromium is an open source. Um, Chromium is not owned by Google. It's an open source project, and it's good because open source projects means um, everybody can, you know, kind of play with the code and, and, and make things better. One of the things that's in there is the fact that, yeah, there will be a lot of browsers now using Chromium Engine, and uh, basically you'll have one browser that's not going to be part of this, and it's Firefox. And you're going to, if you don't like the fact that Chromium is being used everywhere, the only alternative, or one of, probably more than one, but one of the, I would say, the most popular alternative that you'll have for that was will be to use Firefox and, and deal with the fact that you need to use Firefox. And of course, Mozilla voiced this um, problem last week saying it's a bad thing that Microsoft isn't pursuing its own browser with its own engine uh, because it really gives more popularity to Chrome. And the fact that also Chrome extensions will be working in there uh, <coughs> pushes the Chrome browser also. 
So it's kind of interesting what we're learning, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see the first version coming out. And I will be, of course, testing that out and checking it out in the Insider channel. So if you want to learn more about the Edge browser, uh, the, I don't know what you could call it, Edge, Chrome Edge. <laughs> it's a Chrome Edge. That I like that. A Chrome Edge. Um, basically, that should eventually appear soon. I don't know if we'll have anything before Christmas. Um, it might be just, you know, like early 2019. Somewhere in January, we will see that new version, but it is still going to be interesting to see. And um, if it's an attempt for Microsoft to revive Edge, I think um, it's too little, too late. And that uh, they, from the start, they didn't do it right. And they're kind of their own, um, the reason, their own reason why it's not working, basically. So uh, anyways, if you want to have more comments, if you want to share your thoughts on the Edge browser becoming a Chromium-based browser with Google Chrome extensions working, uh, please do. Once again, don't use bad language or any words that I don't want to see on this channel as I will remove the comments. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.